third stage of the tour of the Basque Country and a stage with teeth. Who would it take a piece out of? That was the big question. Just under 154 kilometers of action with most of the climbs compressed into the second half of the course. And those climbs, so short and sharp, there was never a chance to rest. Cavagna, Latour, Zimmerman, Prudhomme, Geska and Gurniak, a very high quality breakaway, ultimately to be wound in. Well, Jumbo Visma doing a lot of work because, of course, their ambitions ultimately are for Jonas Vingergo. And the breakaway just started to fracture a little bit. The gap absolutely tumbling around the 30 kilometers to go marker, courtesy of EF Education Easy Post. And with Richard Carapaz, Esteban Chavez and Rigoberto Aran, all good cards to play. It was a question of who of those would have a go and not when. Good early move as well. We had Lawrence Ois from Intermarchi Circus. He was chased down by Boca Monoma, somebody capable on the ramps. The Murdoe used to almost belong to Monoma. And of course, Esteban Chavez, whose team had done all that work. He was the chosen son at this point. Well, with four climbs, very few categorized within the last 15 kilometers and ramps of around 25% towards the end. It took somebody with a special skill and determination to push on. And that man was Esteban Chavez. A modest margin of just five seconds, but he was to push that back out again. And as everyone else took a feed, there was a hiatus in terms of the chase. Nobody really wanted to take on that duty. Lander was there, so was Yoni Zagira. Some great riders, not tempted just yet. Ida Schelling, who'd won the second stage. The leader's jersey just going off the back. James Knox. Bravest man out there, you might say, decided to push on into the gap. In so doing, he dragged along with him Lopez, JP Lopez from Trek Segafredo, who'd done so much work during the day. Manny Shelmos wearing the Young Riders Classification jersey, possibly acting as a foil for him. So it was a three man breakaway at this point with a very modest margin. James Knox wanted to be last man standing from it as Chavez was wound in along with Lopez in his wake. And a wake up call for absolutely everybody with a 25% ramps that would finish off the day and indeed plenty of ambition as well. While they were rolling with the punches, JP Lopez was just about to run out of resources at a crucial time for those who would do well. Iguita was coming up on the barriers in the green here. And as Lopez faded, he tagged him and indeed bounced off and took out Richard Carapaz at the very last. Vingago was already gone. He'd pressed that go button. Enric Mass was in his wake as well. Shelmo's in the Young Riders jersey, also up and in the frame. Aaron Buru close at hand as well. But look at Lander. He drove on, followed Mass. The only man he couldn't tag was Vingago himself, who took the win and took the lead of the race. Lander in second place ahead of Mass. And then a whole long wait for everyone else to come home. This was a tough day, let there be no doubt. The clams may have been short, likewise the distance, but it was so sharp. Everyone knew they'd been racing today. A downhill run tomorrow may well give a breakaway. Yet another chance, but the big climb still to come. A man who can function in that kind of terrain did well today. Vingago in charge. Well, Schelling weaved his way home, shook his head, and there'll be some questions about this as well. Bad fortune, perhaps, on very difficult incline. And get going again is the difficult thing once you have actually unclipped. The safest place was to be in front, and in front now is, of course, Jonas Vingergo. Lander looking disappointed, and that's a good thing. He'll be going for it in this race that he could possibly win. Two seconds down was his finishing point today, along with Enric Mas, John Zagiria in fourth place. But the podium belongs to Vingergo. Not only taking the day, but also the lead in the race. A modest one, perhaps. Only five seconds over Mikkel Lander. Godot is 16 seconds in arrears after bonus seconds earlier in this race. Sobrero at 18. John Zagiria rounding out the top 10. 24 seconds uh, blanketing that group. 
brilliant racing. More to come. That's the Basque Country. It's what it's all about.